slime dolls, and then, as you know, I'm going to be giving you guys a dollhouse tour. So, I'm pretty sure I ordered a dollhouse tour on my channel. This is an updated one, and if I ordered one, sorry for that mistake. But, yes, today we will have one, and also I'll be showing you all the things in my fridge, and in all the cabinets, because I, don't, I can't do a all my doll foods video, because I just have like a bin where I have all my stuff in it, so I have to find all the food, and it probably still wouldn't be all of it, and that would just take a while. I have the first half of all my doll food video, which isn't a part two to all my doll food, that I have on my channel, so sorry for that, but you can still watch that one, and then, um, if I have time at the end of this video, I will show you my, um, American Girl doll diner from our generation, and if I have time at the end of this video, I'll just make a part two of the dollhouse tour, because, um, it just might take a while, and I want to make this video not too long, because, you know, long videos can kind of be boring. So, in my last video, which was all my slimes video, um, my question was, what is your favorite type of DIY? My favorite type of DIY is probably, like, what do you think about this right now? It's probably American Girl DIYs, because a lot of the American Girl doll stuff is, like, a lot of, it costs a lot of money, so I really like American Girl DIYs, because they're just... Okay, so I have a house that um is from our generation. It has like real wood and it's super cool. So this is the bottom floor and it has this hardwood, it's fake hardwood, of course. I think it's wood, but it just has like a painted or printed on hardwood thing. And then over here on the left wall i have the american girl doll couch with this pillow that actually came with something else and then this pillow i'm not sure where it came from but then it just has the um little holder thing that you can like put the doll food on and i think it is super cute and it fits the dolls really really nicely and then back here i just have a little empty corner everything just just fell there we go. I fixed it. So I have the American Girl doll popcorn machine, and it is super cute. If you press this little button, it makes popcorn noises. And this opens, and it comes with um, some other stuff, but of course, I lost it. Then if you open this, it has some popcorn, and there are popcorn containers, but they are not in this house. And then above that, which you saw fall down, I just have some bags, and they're stuck with just a little piece of tape. It's kind of hard to see. I just have those few bags up there. And then I have the Our Generation Kitchen, which I got at like Walmart or something. And I think it is really nice. I have to say, if you don't wanna buy the, um, like the Gourmet Kitchen from American Girl, which costs a lot of money, let me just say, this is always a great backup option. Um, and it's actually really nice. So over here, we just have the stove top, and on it, I just have this pie. And then the back is like this fake tile, and I think it is super cute. And the whole setup is just plastic, but that's great. These little knobs do turn, which is super cute and really nice. And then I have this just little like oven mitt, and then the oven opens. There's a little um, tray thing there, and then I have this this little container of muffins that are burnt apparently i don't know then down here there's another little thing it's kind of hard to open with the couch here which is one of the problems that i have with this house setup but it's fine um in this drawer which is just plastic all the way around i just have some plates a cup and then another little cupcake tin just fix that now in here I have um, it just says graham crackers and then there's a little container that just says graham crackers on it I'm not really sure where I got it and then farther back it's really hard for me to reach I'm just gonna to show you guys it just says flower and it's just a flower container hope you don't mind that i'm not pulling it out for you and then down here i have some utensils i don't have that many utensils which is kind of annoying i have to say but there's just a spatula a fork and then this little like thing my bobber and these this like cabinet area here these are really far back which is super nice because it makes there be a lot of room for storage and then in here this is the dishwasher these don't press or anything it's just stickers and then they just have those which pull out like that and then up here there's the sink and then a little drying rack for the doll dishes over here there's soap that came with it 
And then there's the little phone that came with it. And these do move. Actually, they don't move. Sorry, guys. I thought they moved. And then here I have this little napkin dispenser, which came in a different set, but it is our generation. I have this little salt shaker. And this came with it because a lot of food actually came with it. Um, it's just hot chocolate. And this is super cute and really cool. It is little packets which is extremely adorable. Um, there's nothing in the packets, but you could always fill it up with something. And then up here, it just says nails and... I don't really, I actually cannot read it. Um, I don't know what it says. Oh yeah, it's nails and screws. This was like the other language. Haha, -ha. how funny. Anyways, up here, this little clock thing, it's kind of weird. It opens and there's some more storage space. And here is the um, microwave. None of the buttons press, but it is still a really cool feature. Then up above my thing, I just have these, this um, little mixer and I have a pan. Now, just along here on this shelf, I have this little fish tank, which I got from like CVS or something. It's not American Girl Art Generation. And then there's this little weird fake plant that I found. I don't know, I thought it was cool. Then over here, I have some American Girl Easter food dye. And then I have like blue sprinkles. And then I have this little waffle maker, which is super cute. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we have the fridge, which I'm going to pull out. So up here, I just have the little American Girl crock pot, and I'm not really sure what it came from, but it's super cute, and it's really neat, and I love using this in my stop motions because of how realistic it is, and the little knob turns, and it is just super cute, and I really love it. And then in this, there's like a little water dispenser thing, and then it opens up. And inside, I have lots of food, drinks, I have some eggs, some bread that I made. And I actually love this bread I made. Like, I think it's so cute. <laughs> I just made it with clay, guys. You can do the same. Um, I have a water bottle there. I have, like, soda. I have orange juice, syrup, applesauce, butter, eggs, a sandwich, lasagna, some muffins. I have, like, a drink up there. I have chocolate sauce coffee, barbecue sauce, a pie piece. I have some chicken back there. There's chicken noodle, there's tomato soup there. And that is it for the top portion of our fridge. Down here, I have the freezer. And in the freezer, I just have some little ice blocks and then vanilla ice cream. Alrighty, then over here, we have the TV section. And up there, I have some of Sage's paintings that I just um, taped to the wall because I thought it looked really cute. And then I have this bouquet of cute flowers. And then there's this little um, table thingamajig. And then I have the American Girl TV, which I think is really adorable. It comes in a set with that little stand right there. And it, I think it is so cute. You press this button and it lights up and it looks like a real TV. And then you can take this slide out and put in a different slide. There's another slide. I this is backwards. I only have two with me because I can't find the other one at the moment. But there are two of them that I have with me. And then in the back, it just has this little slot to keep your doll films. And I think it is super cute and a really nice feature. Now in this perfectly made slot we have right there, I have the little DVR player, which this is the most adorable thing ever. It came with the set. You press this button, it pops out, and you can put a CD that I do have. In this little drawer, we have a karaoke CD, but there's also another CD that has Grace in it, and this is the Grace CD, and it is so adorable. It really looks like real. And then there's also the little microphone that comes for the karaoke, and it is also super adorable.
down below it, I just have this little fake Our Generation plant. And then this little, I'm having trouble putting it in the plant. There we go. And then I have this little pocket thingamajig that I just keep down there. Now in these two slots, I have my American Girl computer which is a very adorable computer. There is a mirror on it, that's why I am covering it at the moment, but it was so cute and it is so realistic. As you can probably already tell, I really love this laptop. Now over there, I just have some books, which I'll pull out. The books I have is this fake candy makers book that I previously made. I have an American Girl Science textbook, and this is so adorable because it actually has stuff in it. And then I have the American Girl Sea Turtle booklet, and it is also cute because it has stuff in it. And it's like National Geographic. It is really adorable. Next up, I just have this little binder that it really has nothing in it, but I still think it's super cute and something that I can fill it with. Then I have this little pad of paper, and it is so cute. And then there's just a little folder that has nothing in it. That is it for my first floor. So if you head over to the side of my dollhouse, there is a stairway that leads up to the top. Bottom floor, and then there are the stairs. It also has that really cute and neat fake hardwood. And then I just had this little American Girl carpet that looks really nice with it. Um, over here I have my doll's nightstand and it's also American Girl. I have this really cute clock on it and there's a little knob on the back and if you twist it, it changes the time. And I really enjoy that. And then I have this little American Girl doll hamster cage and it has a wheel that spins the hamster, food, and water. I don't really have anything in these drawers. Um, by the way, this is wood. Um, I just have this little fake doll camera it's from leah's collection and then there's nothing else in either of the drawers i have to say you can tell the difference between something that's american girl and something that's our generation because a lot of the our generation stuff is plastic and then a lot of the american girl stuff is hardwood next thing i have this super amazing american girl doll bed and it has this really nice and pretty comforter that is double-sided, so you could always switch it. Then there's the little uh, mattress, which has white polka dots, and it's blue. And then I have these two pillows. Neither of them came with this bed, actually. This one is from, a, like, a camping set, and this one's from a sleeping bag set, but they're both purple, and they both are Super duper cute. On the back of the bed, it has an American Girl star, by the way. Then down here, there's this trundle. Um, there's actually nothing in the trundle at now. It does pull out. It doesn't actually belong with this um, that, um, bed. It belongs with a different American Girl. Anyways, yeah. So then over here, I have Gabriella's trunk. I actually don't have the Gabriella doll. This is just something I have. And it has all these stickers on it. And it comes with the stickers. We actually put the stickers on. And then there is nothing in it currently, but I thought it would be a really nice piece for my dogs. This is it for the top of my dollhouse, uh, a.k.a. the bedroom. The house all together, and that's going to be it for this video. But I will film the part two of my doll's tour, and it will have the Our Generation um, diner set, or it will be called the Our Generation diner set. I'm not sure yet because I don't have all the food with it, so it would just be like the thing. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The question for this video is going to be your favorite song on the radio. So you can write your answer down below in the comments, and then in my next video, I will tell you my favorite song. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and subscribe for more of this content. Um, also, write hashtag shoutout for a shoutout in another video. I did have shoutouts at the beginning of this video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!